Hey there, I'm going to give you a quick tip on how you can prevent that your recorded data in Home Assistant gets corrupted. I'll show you now. Some people experience that when they start Home Assistant, sometimes their history is gone. And that is because of the recorder of Home Assistant that sometimes doesn't really work nice. I'm going to give you a quick tip on how you can fix that using MariaDB. For that, we go to Supervisor and then you go to the add-on store and then you select MariaDB. And then you can install it here. So, well, I've already installed it, but you can just install it. And after you install it, you go to configuration and then you can add some information here. So in my case, it's the database, which I called Home Assistant. Logins is username is Home Assistant. Password, Home Assistant 2021, exclamation mark. And then rights is also username, Home Assistant and database, Home Assistant. So that is the first thing that you have to do. After that, you go to your configuration.yaml you can find how to do it in the samba share video but it is on your server so this is the contents of the home assistant server that i have and there's a file called configuration.yaml you can edit that file and you have to add the following information so in the recorder line you can add db url and then secret maria db underscore url um, i'm doing this because there is a password in here and to let this work you have another file in the same folder here and that's this file secrets.yaml and in the secrets.yaml file you can add that secret maria db entry so this MariaDB URL that you see here is the same as what you see here. So I'm going to say here MariaDB URL is MySQL Home Assistant Home Assistant 2021. So this is basically the username and this is the password at and then core-MariaDB slash Home Assistant uh question mark chart set is utf8 so you can just copy this go back to configuration of yaml i'm saying commit intervals 30 and i'm going to include all the things that i want to record in the recorder i don't really want to record everything that home assistant um, has because then it's going to create so much data and it's also not very good for the SD card for you guys out there who uses an SD card. So I'm going to say I only want to record what I really want to see the history from. So I'm going to include the domain automation and updater. And these are the entities that I want to see. So the specific sensors that I want to see the history on. So. You don't really have to do this, but then it records everything. Well, I think it's better to just include the things that you want to record and it automatically excludes everything that you do not include. So if you add this to your configuration.yaml and then restart your home assistant by going to configuration, server controls, Check your configuration just to see if your secrets.yaml and your uh, configuration.yaml is correct. Then click restart. Then your home assistant will reboot and you will never lose your history anymore. So this will keep on working all the time. That was just a quick tip for you. It's a short tutorial. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and um, click the little bell. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.